Hey guys, we are slowly and not with too much motion watching Fear the Walking Dead. I've got a migraine. It's in this eye, if you couldn't tell. And I'll try to talk loud enough to be heard. When I get migraines, I tend not to talk as loud. And so I apologize if I'm commenting and you can't hear. I figured I'd just be watching TV or videos anyhow. So might as well do some uh, reaction. And I've got to get both of these discs done this weekend so that I can send them back so I can get the next ones. So um, we are on Fear of the Walking Dead, Season 3. We're, we're on Episode 5. And the episode that we're watching right now is Burning in Water, Drowning in Flame. Which is a little bit of an oxymoron because uh, normally you would drown in water and burn in the flame, not burn in the water and drown in the flame. But if the water's on fire, um, and I see the brother and sister fighting in the background. They were acting up earlier. Hopefully they won't get too loud. Sister is Fangs, the black and white. Brother is the gray tabby. It's kind of hard to see that he's a gray tabby um, in the video. But he is slightly bigger than her. Apparently the last week he's been feeling his oats. Even though his oats got taken away, uh, he's still feeling them for some reason. So hopefully they don't get too loud. Hopefully we can ignore them. I'm actually dressed today. Surprise. Yeah. You going to lay down? When we last watched, if I remember correctly, we still don't know where Ophelia is. However, I'm pretty sure it's the father of this cult that is the one that came across her. And the rest of the group is at this cult, Teotihuacan, the end of the world as we know it. That's a loud bird. End of the world as we know it. I, Teo, I can't remember how to say it. I can't say it without looking at it, but I remember what it stands for. It's a survivalist group, but I think it's going past the survivalist part, and I think it's a bit of a cult. And it's starting to show signs of that um, as we start to learn more about them. However, the father is trying to endear himself to, I want to say Maddie. Is it Maddie? Madeline? Maddie? I think that's right. Travis is dead. And Maddie has kind of gotten into this not wanting to go anywhere else. She's got it in her head that Travis died getting them to this point, and so therefore they're going to stay at this point. But she's also kind of got the rictator going on. And if things don't go well, they're just going to take over. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but we'll see. I'm having problems remembering names. Sorry. Nick was having a hard time adjusting to the group. And then I want to call him Mark, but it's not Mark. Mark is from the other show. Oh, I can't remember. And actually, it wasn't that character. It was his brother, Trey. The brother, Trey, who is a bit of a douchebag. He took off with Nick and I think they were trying to set it up as if he was going to kill Nick but then Nick bested him and now they're kind of like buddies 
At least that's what they were trying to indicate. Lucy is still recuperating in the infirmary, and she wants to leave. She wants to get out of there, but she's realizing that everybody else is kind of wanting to stay, and so she's a bit alarmed by that. Alicia um, is feeling horrible over Travis's death, and I remember when Nick gave her a hug, that, that moment actually got to me. I don't want any crying this episode. I, um, I get migraines when I cry, so since I've already got a migraine, I don't want to cry. I'm trying to think. The brother, older brother, that I can't remember his name, he seems to be believing in the survivalist part of things, but also kind of re seems to regret some stuff. So um, I think they may develop that a little bit more. We shall see. Kind of go from there. Victor made it to the to a border made it to the same um made it uh, i can't remember uh so he's kind of like a warlord type of figure and apparently victor used to work with him in the past and victor thought he would be able to work with him again but then the guy became very suspicious of victor and tried to kill victor but Daniel uh, Salazar escaped the fire and managed to make it to this warlord guy also and saved Victor, uh, made himself known to Victor. And they knew each other before, so, um, but made him aware that he was alive and he was there because Victor thought he was dead. And they overthrew the warlord literally overthrew him. I don't think it wrapped up. It just showed them start to run. And there were a couple of other captives. I think they shot the guys that were working for the warlord. So they were starting to run off of the dam. So I guess um, we may see what's happening with that. Am I caught up on everybody now? I think I'm caught up on everybody. So that's kind of where we were at with everybody, I believe. I don't know where things are going to go at this point. Um, oh, um, Maddie and did Nick volunteer? I don't think so. Uh, a group of folks and Maddie volunteered to go and find out who was out there that um, shot down the helicopter. And Maddie's doing it because she wants to get revenge for Travis. They've had other groups go out and try to figure out who this is, but the groups keep disappearing. So we'll have to see what happens with that. I think this episode, burning in water and drowning in flame, I think it's going to focus mainly on Victor and Daniel. We'll have to see and go from there. I'm tired of talking. Let's just watch it. See what's going on. Hopefully I comment enough. And um, Purdy will help me. All right. She's going to gum him to death. Oh. That was the couple that Nick saw dancing together when Trey picked him up. If it's Trey. Yeah, thank me even more when she tasted it. Good. Wow. I don't know what prometo means. Seems like that would be an old wreck. You're a part of that now, ain't you? Some sense you stretching? Sure. It's really cool. This was my home. He used to say, you got to make a house your own if you're going to be happy. His hair drives me nuts. So I think that very last scene between the father and Nick was his signal to Nick to go ahead and catch up with Lucy. What I'm guessing is the father probably saw Lucy leave. Here comes Jojo. Watch her jump to the back of the chair. Or maybe not. I saw she did it in one of the videos I edited recently. 
So I, I think he saw Lucy leave, and that was his signal to Nick to go ahead, take the gun, go catch up with Lucy, and kind of go from there. The dad is so far turning out to not be so bad. Might have had a bad past, but currently is not so bad. At least that's how they're making it seem. Maddie is trying to use Troy's feelings about his mother against him because I think she recognizes that he wanted her and sees her as a mother figure, um, especially because she looks similar to the mother. I didn't quite understand when he held the knife to her throat. I didn't catch what she said to him, but then he backed off. But one of the other guys saw the whole thing, and I think he saw the power that Maddie has over Troy. I think he was a bit surprised, that's for sure. (laughs) Alicia seems lost. She's closing down and kind of looking at a all or nothing kind of approach. And I think Jake is trying to show her that there is more to it. I think Jake is the healthier version of his father. He sees purpose in what's going on, but he also has hope and all that as well. Victor. Sorry, I get extremely tired with my migraines too. I woke up before the alarm went off and everything this morning. I actually heard one of the booms this morning because I was laying in bed not wanting to get up, waiting for the alarm to go off. I had no idea what time it was, but it was a long time before the alarm went off. And I heard the boom. It was a very faint boom. Turns out it was a, a very small tremor, a point one. Uh, but it was just down the road. <laughs> my road, uh, the road to my house is about two-tenths of a mile. And the the boom was like across the road from there. So it's about three-tenths of a mile from here. Strand, Victor, they're kind of not doing anything with him. They're not, they're, they're just kind of flailing his character around and I'm getting aggravated by that. I wish they would do something with his character. Looks like he's on his own again. He'll survive. He's a survivalist of his own accord. Daniel, I don't know why Victor didn't tell Daniel the truth from the beginning. Uh, I don't know why he waited until the very end, unless he was thinking that it would keep Daniel in his favor. But with as hostile as Daniel was being, that wasn't going to work. So, I mean, he's supposed to be a good reader of people. That's why he was successful doing what he was doing, ripping people off before he got into the real estate business with um, Thomas. So I'm, I'm just frustrated by what they're doing with Victor. Daniel was last told that Ophelia took off in the truck and left Alicia for dead. That's all Daniel knows. So I don't know where he thinks he's going unless he had talked to Ophelia about if we get separated, if this happens, go to this place. That's the only thing I can think of, but why wouldn't they have gone to that place to begin with? Why would they have stuck with the group? I don't know. They can barely see you. Wasn't thrilled with that episode. It wasn't the best episode, not even for bad spoofs like the Freddy Krueger window. We'll go on to the next one and go from there. Um, Hopefully it's better. We'll have to see. Thanks for joining us. Bye.